Hello all, Roberto here. I want to show you guys my opinion of the world's second toughest truck ever made. Second toughest truck. Not the first toughest truck, and that's only because the engine options in this truck. Otherwise, everything else about it is, is bulletproof. This is hands down the second toughest truck you can buy, in my opinion, anyway. Great rigs. Here she is. What we have? 91 Toyota Extra Cab. It came with two engine options. A 2.4 RE motor, 22 RE, or a 3 liter V6. The 22 RE is the more desirable one of the two. Even though 22 REs, they do have yeah, you do blow head gaskets in 22 REs and you have timing chain issues. Some issues. And the 3 liter, there's all kinds of goods and bads with the 3 liter. You hear people swear by them and you hear people just cuss the heck out of them. Me, I've never had any kind of good luck with a 3 liter at all. So I got this here. This one here has had the problem solved, of course. Got this beautiful girl underneath the hood here oh man so nice so nice I've had this truck probably around a year and a half now <laughs> named the old girl dirty Diana Ow! She's a pretty sweet rig when I got it bed was beat to crap had a kind of that spray on plastic stuff around the windows and looked like someone at one point in time coated the whole thing and then decided against it and scratched it all off and the interior was completely roached out had no carpet had no door panels ended up buying a rolled rig and getting the interior out of it my aunt and uncle got me a new carpet my uncle put it put put it mostly together I got a new bed on a two-wheel drive blue you can see kind of in the crack there bed liner I got it and I had a guy up in Bandon come town up from me paint it gave him a thousand dollars he put the bed on and threw a paint job on it I definitely can't bitch at that I mean there are light spots and stuff like that but for the work you know what he was paid for he did me good I can't bitch you know one of these days I might go over it with another coat and just get rid of these light spots seeing I'm so deep into it now I mean, heck I'm, I'm about $6,500 into a you know heck I could probably get $4,500 four, if, four to $45 if I sold it it's a good pickup it's only got 170000 on the pickup itself the motor I've got 86000 on I do believe it's an 03 Tacoma motor I'm running a 285 70 17 Firestone destinations these tires here. I, I dig them ever since BF Goodrich went away from their old mud style They went to their newer style, and I, I seen these out. I always wanted to try them Well, I finally bit the bullet and just bought them. I'm glad I did I've, I've had them on about Four or five different Toyotas now, but they seem to go pretty good on this one. It, it rides nice with them, even though they're 10 ply and it's a Toyota. And usually you throw 10 plies on a Toyota, it rides like freaking a buckboard or a samurai. Yeah, I got some janky clear tail lights. My old lady, she actually got a, a third gen also, and she decided my tail lights were a little nicer than hers, so she robbed me. And yeah, didn't quite put back all the screws either. Dang it, woman. Yeah, they pretty good rig. I've always wanted one. These these third gens, they're on a torsion suspension setup. They have a fully boxed frame. See, once you go lift in a Tacoma, you end up having your ball joint sit at an awkward angle and you'll lose your bottom ball joint and pull your top one. And the only thing holding on will end up being your steering, steering arm there from your rack and pinion which these they don't have a rack and pinion it's still all steering in there and that's, that's kind of why I rate this the second toughest truck you can get I mean for an independent suspension you can't get much tougher and tougher than that I mean Toyota they did they did good they overbuilt the heck out of these things so I've always kind of wanted you know box frame 
tougher independent suspension, but yet the Toyota motor. So once I seen this, you know, a guy was asking $4,500 for it and went up. I ended up meeting him there in Roseburg. He was from Salem or something like that. And picked it up from him. I, I took his word on a lot of stuff because he was kept referring to himself, you know, telling me he was a vet. Yeah. You know, so I didn't really take it on a good test drive like I should have and such. And then once I got a little way down the road, I kind of regretted that. But once the deal's done, it's done. I should have paid more attention at the beginning. And I ended up putting that bar on the front there. So in case I end up stuck, I got somewhere to pull off of. And I don't have a rear bumper yet, but I did the same back there off a of pickup. I ended up buying for parts. Just pulled the tow package, so I got something to yank on. So I imagine it's probably going to end up my wheeler once my uh, I'll, I'll have a video on it later sometime you know once my number one toughest truck ever made finally goes but until then well number two might stay pretty for a little while longer pretty good looking rigs another thing that drives me crazy you see these things for sale which i mean they hold their value like like you wouldn't believe i mean find a nice one not all beat the shit even this one the paints you know not the greatest but i mean yeah i don't see any problem at all i'd be able to pull 445 out of it no problem whatsoever just because they do hold their value really good you find we'll find another 91 pickup with 170,000 miles on it that you can get 4500 bucks out of you know good luck heck even i mean you could buy a tacoma for same price you could pay for one of these and not only that but half Half the guys on the internet who are selling these say, yeah, I lost a little blinker light there. Trip down on the beach here. And of course, when it falls out, look what it falls right into. So, yeah, casualty. I'll have to order another one of those. Probably when I end up ordering some new taillights because my old lady stole mine. Dang it. I'll do that. Yo, back to people selling these on the internet. They always write. 91 92 they, they made these from 81 to 95 and a half so you'll see them 94 tacoma 93 tacoma you know it's like this is not a tacoma people this is, this is a pickup actually this one here whatever on my title it says extra cab x t r a cab of course the standard cabs which i've had a couple of those they say pickup p slash u you know it's not a tacoma i don't I don't know when people are finally going to get that, but, you know, I see how people could think it's a Tacoma just because it's like, wow, they don't have a name for it? It's just called a pickup? Yeah. Yeah, a damn good one, too. I mean, look, in, look overseas. Look at all them desert countries, you know? I mean, look at the, the, the freaking terrorists. Heck, you know? You know why we can't find them? Because they're out in the woods in these. They don't break down. Or not woods. I guess it'd be desert. Yeah, they're out in these. We ain't finding them broke down. And over there, they actually have diesels. It's pretty neat. I would not mind to try out one of those three-liter diesels. They they seem pretty neat. Videos I've seen and such, but I've had handfuls of Toyotas. I've had three, four Tacomas with three fours in them. I've had a couple with two sevens. You know, I've had a Tundra with that four seven in it. And, you know, I'm pretty partial to this three four. It is just one of the toughest dang motors a guy can get not not bagging on any of those other three i mean that two seven and that that four seven those are also some of the freaking toughest dang motors a guy can get in the rig can't ask for a better motor but then you get to the front ends and such but if you keep them stock i mean heck you're fine I mean, they run for every stock it's just you know as soon as you get a pickup it's the first thing you do you go slap some bigger tires on it and you know put a little lift on it headache rack and such and you know, and then you go on these trails that you could have made just fine with 31s, except now your truck rides like poop. So, well, you don't learn that till you get a little older. It's starting, starting to like, oh man, I shouldn't lift that. Even though this here, this one has the three inch body lift just to fit the three, four in there, which my old lady's third gen, they didn't do the body lift on hers. And yeah, it is a pain in the butt to work on anything. I mean, to change that starter, I, yeah, especially not having little Japanese hands. I got pretty American hands here. Yeah, yeah it's tough. This one here with the body lift makes everything way easier. I mean, you can get right in there and get anything. Well, this is my rig. It's a good truck. 
Hopefully it lasts me a while and hopefully I don't dinner too bad. You see it's, it's got little scuffs and dings, but for the most part, can't ask for a better rig. Second toughest truck a guy can get. All right, you guys have a good one.